Hey guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best home theater projectors. I've made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the home theater projectors in the video, just subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best home theater projectors on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Epson Home Cinema 2100. If you are bothered about sunshine when viewing a DLP projector, the Epson 2100 is your go-to LCD projector. Though the Epson Home Cinema 2100 offers a lower contrast ratio than the BenQ, it's a brighter model and a better choice for a room with lots of ambient light. Because it's an LCD projector, you don't have to bother about the rainbow effect. Newer DLP projectors, such as the BenQ HT2050A, are less prone to rainbows because their color wheels spin faster. But if you still find rainbows bothersome, the Epson 2100 is a good alternative. It offers slightly more zoom, 1.6 times, than the HT2050A, plus limited vertical lens shifting. So if you can't control all the light in your room, Epson Home Cinema is a good choice. Number 9. Optima UHD65 Optima UHD65 is an award-winning and sophisticated 4K HDR model that performs brilliantly, well at a very competitive price. Considering there are more expensive models on the market that are neither 4K nor HDR compatible, those looking for a top-notch home cinema projector should give the Optima UHD65 serious consideration. It may not have all the bells and whistles of a high-end 4K projector, and indeed, it may not be native 4K, but the picture is superb with brilliant motion handling, color production, and excellent upscaling abilities. It's also future-proofed enough to keep you happy for years. At this price, the Optima is the one to beat. And if you find it at a discount, then you'd better not blink. Coming at number 8, LG Cinebeam HU80KSW. An all-in-one, do-it-all, portable projector that has it all and does it all well. One of the most feature-complete projectors you'll ever find. The LG Cinebeam is a fantastic box of tricks. It may not be the finest on this list for pure performance, but it presents a very decent 4K HDR image from a larger array of sources, both smart and local, than any other here. This Cinebeam model boasts an impressive 2,500 lumens and should last you 20,000 hours before the image starts to degrade. It comes with an excellent WebOS platform, which means direct access to all your video apps over Wi-Fi, and its mirror casting and Bluetooth abilities make for easy and intuitive ad hoc connections to whatever mobile device you like to play back from. Add external sound too. Expensive? Maybe. But for those who want the flexibility to throw a film up on their wall whenever and however they choose, it's just the ticket. Decent sound and a very solid picture to boot. One of the best outdoor projectors you can buy right now. Coming at number 7, Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. Though smaller than a six-pack of Coke, the Nebula Mars 2 Pro from Anchor is equipped with Wi-Fi streaming, a surprisingly loud Bluetooth speaker, and even a handle. This portable mini projector powerhouse also has one thing many compact projectors lack, a built-in battery. It's an all-in-one projector entertainment machine that's darn cute too. Like the LG above, Mars 2 is a smart box style portable projector, which offers both convenience and a good dollop of fun. It's an excellent pickup and put down mini movie night in every room of the house you might happen to be in. 
It's not the last word in picture quality, but it delivers enough of the goods to be worth your while. Number 6. BenQ HT2150 ST If you don't have the space for a standard projector, or if you want something you can more easily set up and not leave out all the time, you might want a short throw projector, which needs less space between the lens and the screen. The BenQ HT2150 ST can produce a 100 inch image from less than 5 feet away from your wall or screen, which lets it fit into more confined spaces. The lens creates some color fringing that you might notice, and the colors are not as accurate or vivid as those of the BenQ HT2050A, but the HT2150ST still produces a good picture. Instead of using an RGB RGB wheel to render colors, the HT2150ST uses the Texas Instruments Brilliant Color DLP color wheel. As a result, it delivers brighter whites, but also has a smaller color gamut, meaning that it can't display as many different colors. However, the brighter whites can be a benefit if you're watching content in a room without much light control. Coming in at number 5, ViewSonic M2. The M2 is about the size of a cake, and like the anchor above, includes onboard streaming and a less powerful speaker. However, unlike the anchor, you'll have to supply your external battery, like a portable charger or power bank. We didn't like its picture as much as the Anchor either, but it does have one advantage, 1080p resolution, which is important if you want to watch a big image with no visible pixels on your projector screen. Since the M2 is a bit different, its mediocre performance has to be weighed against its convenience and versatility. This little unit can easily fit in a backpack and tether to a phone for Wi-Fi can give you Netflix on a tent under the stars. That's pretty cool. Coming at number 4, Optima HD146X. If you don't want to spend more than a few hundred dollars, the Optima HD146X is a good projector. An excellent projector that costs less and still shares many of the same specs as the Epson 2150. The biggest difference is that it's a DLP projector and appears darker and less vibrant. It's not as crisp as the 2150 either, again, due to it being a DLP instead of an LCD. However, the Optima's image modes are also less flexible, and the bright mode produces an unstable green image. The vivid or cinema modes are much nicer, but if you're viewing in the middle of the day, you'll likely need to put your shades down, especially if you don't have a screen. Also, the HD146X offers a nice contrast which produces a punchy image. Lastly, the HD146X's built-in 3-watt speaker is not loud, but the fan is loud. At maximum volume, you can still hear the fan if the projector is near your head. It's manageable though. If this projector is for your bedroom, the speaker will be fine. But if you're trying to do a movie night with friends or you have a loud street noise, I'd recommend speakers, which you can hook up through a 3.5mm audio output. So if you're watching in a room with a lot of darkness and have external speakers, the HD146X will offer a great image at a price you can't beat for its quality. Number 3. Sony VPL VW285ES 4K HDR Home Theater Projector Sony's groundbreaking VW285ES projector is the most affordable cinema-grade model the company has ever produced. This model is designed for enthusiasts who want a genuinely cinematic experience in their home. The native 4K HDR cinema scale projector dish out 4096 by 2160 resolution, as opposed to the more common 3840 by 2160. While other projectors claim 4K quality typically use some manner of digital pixel shifting to achieve it, this model offers exact pixel for pixel reproduction which is ideal for those who want the most immersive experience possible. The projector offers only 1,500 ANSI lumens of brightness, so the picture isn't designed for daylight viewing, but it does offer excellent black levels and contrast in darker rooms, especially with the expanded HDR color gamut. So, if you're after full cinema quality but don't want to spend the $25,000 it costs to buy a top-of-the-line model like Sony's, VPL VW885ES, 
you're going to want to take a serious look at the Sony VW285ES, which combines great picture with a tolerable price point for the above average home theater enthusiast. Coming in number two, Samsung 130, the premier projector. This ultra short throw beamer makes use of 4K HDR laser projection with a three color laser removing the need for a color filter and therefore allowing the Premier's 2,800 lumens brightness to shine. Pictures are punchy and colorful and Samsung's world first introduction of the HDR10 Plus format, which adds in scene by scene picture calibration in compatible films and TV shows. The projector is the next generation of living room projection that benefits from the full implementation of Samsung's smart TV operating system. With a max 138 inch picture, a host of high-end and world-first technologies, and a TV operating system that fixes one of our main complaints about the best projectors available today. Samsung's The Premiere is a knockout choice for a new home cinema projector. Coming in at a high price of $6,490, the Samsung Premiere is an undeniable experience, but it is a good choice for those who can afford it. For everyone else who can't afford it, the next model on the list is a great choice. Number 1. BenQ HT2050A The BenQ HT2050A has the best contrast ratio in its class and a more realistic color than the competition, and it's brighter than some projectors that cost a lot more. The BenQ HT2050A uses an RGB RGB color wheel that produces richer, more vibrant colors than many budget DLP projectors. This 1080p projector is also much easier to set up than other sub $1,000 projectors. Thanks to a flexible lens that has both zoom and vertical shift, the speakers in the BenQ model are not amazing, but they are better than what most budget projectors offer. The HT2050A's biggest drawback is that it's a single DLP chip design can produce a visible rainbow effect for some viewers, but most people either can't see it or won't be bothered by it. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best home theater projectors. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite one? And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.